the state television company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. The newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markusian, presented the plan of one year activity. The president of the National Council of Western Armenia visited Tallinn. Invitation to the meeting entitled The Rights of Artsakh Armenians. The National Council of Western Armenia invites to the event dedicated to the memory of Nisak and Meline Manushyan, the initiative of the Union of Journalists. Conference dedicated to the cultural and spiritual heritage of Artsakh in the European Union. In memory of Yashar Kemal, the newly elected President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosian, presented the plan of one year activity. The newly elected President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosian, presented the plan of one year activity. On January 21, the session took place of the Government of Western Armenia, chaired by the newly elected President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosian. During the meeting, the Lady pr President presented the Government's one year plan. Ms. Lydia Markosian noted, on March 6, 2024, we will remember the law on recognition of the autonomy of Artsakh. On March 21st, 2024, we will celebrate New Year of Western Armenia. April 2024, 2024, we, it is the day that the Genocide Committed in 1894, 1923 against the native Armenian people in the occupied territories of Western Armenia by three consecutive Turkish governments. The President of the National Council of Western Armenia visited Tallinn. The Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahamian, with the government delegation visited Tallinn to meet the newly elected Deputy Hovannes Davidsian and his team. It should be noted that many Armenians in Tallinn region are originally from the Sasun province of Western Armenia as a result of the genocide committed against Armenia. In 1923, the Treaty of Lausanne provided for the President of Western Armenia formation of an Armenian national heart along recent borders and illegal transactions between the Kemalists and the Soviets. This was an opportunity to strengthen ties with our deputy and then the center was moved to the Tallinn region, hence the importance of this visit. The Government of the Republic of Western Armenia and the Shushi Patriotic Union Organization invite you to participate in the meeting entitled The Rights of Artsakh Armenians. Dear citizens of Artsakh, the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia and the organization Shushi Patriotic Union invite you to participate in the meeting entitled The Rights of Armenians of Artsakh, which will take place on Saturday, January 27 at uh, 11 o'clock at the Office of the Yerevan Representation of the Republic of Western Armenia. During the meeting, the details on the submission of lawsuit against the Baku authorities based on the complaints of Armenians of Artsakh and the ongoing protests at the European Court of Human Rights will be discussed. It should be reminded that as a result of the 44-day war of 2020, those people who forcibly displaced from the city of Shushi applied to the government of Western Armenia and authorized the chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Abrahamian, to apply to the European Court of Human Rights to protect their rights. The National Council of Western Armenia and the Armenian Veterans Association invite you to the event dedicated to the memory of Misak and Meline Manushan. The subject of the event is the spirit of resistance in France. The meeting will take place on February 15 at 3 o'clock at Veterans House. Main Speaker President Armenak Abrahamian. The event will be held according to the announcement. The Union, Union of Turkish Journalists more than eight years has made it a tradition to commemorate the journalists who killed inside their country. On January 23, the day of commemoration of Ran Dik Dev and the day before the commemoration day of the Dev Uhur Mumsku. This year, that tradition continued in the center of the Union. After the opening speech of the President of the Union, Wahab Mumyar, under the leadership of the General Secretary, Zibel Atesh, gave speeches the, to the President of the PEN, Rights Union of Turkey. Zeynab Oral, the head of the Writers Union of Turkey, Kamil Tekin Surek, and Bagrat Yestukyan, the Armenian editor of Agos magazine, gave speeches. In his speech, Munyar, apart from Randink and Ugur Mumsu, also referred to another journalist who died in January. Rightly, the reporters also spoke about these names against the journalist, about the widespread crimes in the country, which are caused by the lack of freedom of expression. Reference was also made to the main changes in the press during the last decade. It is known that the press is transformed into a media through the 
penetration of some companies losing the moral virtues demanded by journalism. As Dukyan referring to the title, the Turkish press is the unified voice of the nation on the wall of the hall, which was attributed to the founding president of the country, showed that the attitude has changed quite a bit and that the title should be read as the Turkish press is the united voice of the government. After the three reports, the attendees had the opportunity to take pictures and talk individually with the dissertations. On January 24, 2024, the conference entitled Preserving the Cultural and Spiritual Heritage of Arsal was held in Brussels at the European Parliament, which was organized at the initiative of the European Parliament. At the event, the Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia and the Plenipotentiary to the Kingdom of Belgium, Tigran Balayan, head of the Armenian representation in the European Union, and Miriam Lexman, member of the European Parliament, made opening remarks at the event. About Baku's policy targeting Armenian sanctuaries, destruction of historical and cultural values, and the urgency of steps to be taken by the international community in that direction, with the blessing of Karekin, the second Supreme Patriarch and the Catholic of all Armenians, the report was made by the di director of the Major C. Holy H. Miatin Preaching Center and the head of the Artsakh Office for Spiritual and Cultural Heritage Issues, Reverend Garegin Hambartsumian. In his report, the Holy Father called to protect the cultural and religious heritage of Artsakh to respect the freedom of religion and belief, which is stipulated in a number of international treaties, as well as to provide an opportunity for the representatives of the Independent Assessment Mission of UNESCO to visit the region and document the status of cultural monuments. Secretary General of Europe Nostra Cultural Heritage Protection International NGO, Sneska Koedvig Mikhailovich, Artsakh Cultural Heritage Expert, Armini Tigranian of Benoran Historical and Cultural NGO, and Pierre Darzan, Professor of Louvain University, also made reports at the conference. A scientific conference dedicated to the writer Yashar Kemal was held in the city one in Western Armenia. It should be noted that Yashar Kemal's parents were from Archest near Lake Vena. In 1915, after the Russian army entered Van, they settled in Adana, where in 1923 Kemal was born. Due to Yashar Kemal's efforts in 1951, the plan of the Turkish authorities to destroy the Armenian Church of the Holy Cross in Ahtamar was suspended. It is a well-known fact that Turkish governments want to erase Armenian existence. His statement is that a person occupies as much space in the universe as his heart does, not his body. Expresses Yashar Kemal's worldview. Having received many awards in Turkey and abroad, he was criticized in Turkey, especially in 1984 and especially in 2011, when he received the French Legion of Honor. He was accused of supporting Esala and criminalizing for accepting the awards by France on the genocide committed against Armenia. His candidacy has been presented many times for the Nobel Prize. After Orhan Pamuk won the Nobel Prize, many people attributed it to the recognition of the genocide committed against the Armenians and wrote about it. His candidacy has been presented many times for the Nobel Prize. This was all for today. Goodbye.